Hello everyone, hope you're all having a great weekend. Uh, what I want to show in this video are just uh, 15 quick uh, tricks or hotkeys in Lumion that might speed up your workflow. Uh, I'm assuming that most people would actually know a lot of these already, but uh, you know, if you are a beginner, you may learn you know, more than just one or two, but I am really only expecting most people to only learn uh, one or two, but it's still pretty cool to take a look at this stuff, so let's just jump into that. So there are actually some uh, hotkeys that you can use to speed up or slow down your navigation inside of Lumion, depending on what you need. Um, you can just use the scroll wheel to move in and out, uh, but you should get used to using A, W, S, and D to move around as you, you know, it's just a little bit easier. Um, but what you can do is if this is not a fast enough speed for you, then you can hold shift and W and you'll move around pretty fast. Uh, obviously A, S, and D also work with this. Uh, and if, but if you want to go really slow and just zoom in on something, then you can hold the space bar and W and all the other buttons and you'll start moving around. Now, if you have a huge file and you really have to move around, you want to hold shift, space bar, and then hit your movement button and you'll just zip around. So that's probably the fastest way. Uh, well, it is the fastest way to get around in Lumion and can save you a lot of time with uh, big scenes. So for the second trick, uh, what you can do is if you have a placed object like the stool I dropped here, then you can just hold down the Alt key. And as you can see, while I'm holding it in the bottom right hand corner, it'll actually say shortcut, move your object and leave a copy in its place. So holding Alt, I can just drag it over here and drag another one over here. And then you make a duplicate of that object. It'll be that exact same object. So if you are just doing you know, chairs or something like that, uh, you can bring it in here and then just make quick copies of it. So this one actually uh, kind of blew my mind when I found out about it because this could have saved me a lot of time. So if you are placing a car, so we'll just maybe choose this one. If you hit C, then it actually cycles through colors. Um, and as you can see, um, so if you are doing something like a parking lot, you can just quickly drop a car, hit C, drop it in another place. And then you don't have to keep going and like clicking around up here and doing all this. So that was a really cool trick in my opinion. So there are hotkeys that are actually associated with rotating and also scaling of objects. Um, if we're gonna drop like a chair or yeah, something like this down, uh, you can hold R while you're placing it to determine how it's gonna be rotated. And you can also hold L to determine its scale. Uh, after you drop it, these will still work. So if you uh, hold R and then you click on it, you can rotate. And if you hold L and then scale up, then you can do it. So for this one, uh, I put some really overpowering lights into the scene uh, and the purpose of it is to actually just show you that if you are in uh, camera mode and I believe even build mode that this would work, uh, it's just not nighttime in build mode. Uh, if you hit F8, then it will actually, oh, I have to click back on Luma. If you hold F8, then it actually previews how your uh, spotlights are going to react with walls and things like that. So if I let go of F8, as you can see, like there's light bleeding through the walls. Uh, it's kind of going all over the place, but if you hold F8, then it will actually calculate uh, where the light's gonna be stopping. So that can save you a little bit of time uh, before you render something out. You can just quickly see like, you know, is the, sp uh, are the spotlights in the right place or do I need to move them over a little bit? So this is gonna be a really quick one. Basically, if you're in build mode and you know, you're looking down at the ground and you need to get it to perfectly horizontal to check something, if you hit control H, then it will snap your camera back uh, to a zero degrees uh, horizontal angle. So this is something I didn't even know was possible in Lumion. Uh, you can actually orbit around objects. So basically just point your uh, indicator at like an object. So if I want to orbit around this table, I'd hold O and then I'd, as you can see down here, zoom in and out and rotate camera. So um, from here, you basically have uh, two options, but for this one, we're gonna hold the right mouse button and we're gonna move it. And then you are orbiting around an object. So 
So double clicking uh, an object with both the left mouse button and the right mouse button will have different functionalities. So if we uh, click in Illumion, hold shift, spacebar, and S to zoom way back, and I double click on any of these objects uh, with my left mouse button, then you zoom right up into it. Um, and if I zoom back out again and I double click with my right mouse button, then I'm still zooming in, but I don't go quite in as far. So right is better to kind of get to that, like the general area, but if you really need to zoom in on a particular object, then you want to double left click it. So this one is a little bit better for people that have less than optimal computers. Um, if you hit the F9 button, then it will actually uh, turn all of your trees into low quality trees when you're further away from them. So if I hit F9, as you can see, all the trees uh, go into like a much uh, easier format for Lumion to handle. Uh, so in this mode, I have about 45 to 50 FPS in that range. And when I turn the high quality trees back on, as you can see, it drops down about 10 FPS, which isn't a huge deal, but you know, obviously you can get much better performance. Like if you're really struggling to even get like 20 or 30 frames, then this can help uh, speed up your workflow a lot. So uh, if you find yourself wasting a lot of time going back and forth between camera modes, saving and um, just camera angles and getting all that stuff, there is actually a faster way to do it. If you hold the control button and then hit one to zero with 10 being or ten being represented by the zero on your uh, keyboard, then as you can see, you'll see like the snap, like you just took a camera shot. And if we actually go look in photo mode, then we now have this. So you will have to update the thumbnail, but I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so you can just quickly snap it and let's try that again. We'll go in uh, control two. And then we just update the thumbnail here and there it is. So if you have a uh, scene where you're really going through and you, you find a shot you really want, you just snap it and then you can go and add your effects onto it. So if you find yourself needing to select a lot of objects and you don't want to click every single individual object, uh, there is a way to mass select things in Lumion. Now, uh, obviously you can use these buttons up here uh, if you're clicking on something like a tree, you can go up to select all identical objects and then uh, all of that kind of tree will get selected. Uh, you can also do um, select all in the same category. So if you do that, just all of the nature objects will get selected. Uh, and that works for a lot of things. But what you can also do is let me just check off this for a second. Uh, what you can also do is hold control and then just drag a window over it. So I've selected about 400 trees and then obviously I can come and delete them, do whatever I want. But if I then want to add more to the selection, I hit control again and then I hold shift and then I just drag it over everything. And now I'm selecting all 753 trees. So when, uh, when I first started using Lumion, what always frustrated me is that when I was moving things along the horizontal axes, um, I thought it was weird that you couldn't lock them to the actual X and I guess Z, uh, Z axis in this, even though I always would think of that as X and Y, but uh, you actually can. So I guess I was just an idiot and I didn't look into it, but if you're moving something horizontally and you don't want to do this, then while you're moving it, hold X and you'll lock it uh, to the X axis. As you can see, that's the red axis in the middle there. Uh, and then you can also hold uh, Z and then it will lock it to that. Uh, some of you that use Blender will know this as uh, like X and Y, it's the same thing. Uh, but I thought that that was really cool because uh, there's a lot of times where you have to get, um, you know, just line things up. And I, I quite honestly just always did it, uh, copying it and then holding it on the uh, horizontal axis without actually locking it, so. If you're moving an object around and you need it to be uh, a little more precise than just, uh, you know, I guess like the default uh, speed, you know, if you're trying to get something to work and you just can't get it to line up, if you hold shift, uh, like a lot of other things in Lumion, it will actually slow down the selection. So as you can see, uh, doing it with shift, I can just easily come in and place the uh, table on the ground. Whereas if I'm doing this, like I, it's a little more touchy. And so yeah, shift, uh, this works for a lot of sliders too. It will just slow down the selection so you can get a more precise number.
So uh, if you have something you're seeing that you need lighting uh, for, um, this would work well with kind of studio lights, but you can actually direct point lights in a particular direction. So uh, if we just hop in here with the spotlights that I just threw in here quickly, um, we can click on this one, click on this one, and then maybe click on, uh, I thought there was another, yeah, and then there's the other one here. So uh, there's a target lights option here. And if you click right there, then all of the lights are now pointing uh, inwards. So as I said, this would be great for like studio lighting or if there's just like a statue or something, you can basically place a bunch of lights around it, click all of them and then like place it on the top of the statue and all the lights will turn in the correct direction. So this trick, uh, it's a pretty easy one uh, and it works really well uh, if you're using um, Lumion for really big scenes. So if you hit F1, F2, F3 and F4, it will actually keep bumping up the quality of your editor. Now, normally um, I prefer to just have higher frames, so I normally keep it at one. Uh, I don't really care about seeing the shadows and stuff like that, just so that, because like I will have it inside a camera mode, obviously. Um, but uh, it is pretty helpful. Like um, I can see myself kind of using this in the future, um, just if I wanna, you know, maybe play around with something um, in build mode and I'm just kind of, you know, playing around with like the shadows, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, that should be the last trick. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, this was a different uh, approach than I normally do. Um, as you can see, normally I, I just kind of do the whole video, I film it, but this one I wanted to break it up just so I could set up some uh, different tips and uh, hopefully people are able to learn a thing or two. I really don't expect most people uh, to be learning the majority of these hotkeys. Uh, I think that if people have been using Lumion for a while, then they might have picked up uh, these hotkeys over time. But you know, if you're a new uh, user, then you might have just learned a couple of tricks to kind of uh, expedite your learning process. So uh, just want to thank everyone again for checking out the channel. Uh, it's been a lot of fun making videos lately. And uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.